Introducing in a one fall 30 minute time limit match from San Francisco, California, at a combined tag weight of 400, a correction, 520 pounds, the team of the chain gang, Frank and Jack Dillinger. And I understand now that they have picked up a second uh, who will be doing some work for them. Their opponents in this one fall 30 from Peoria, Illinois, and Puerto Rico, Chuck Edwards and Jose Betancourt. Betancourt and Edwards. One fall, 30. Instructions being given up there now by Rocco Mediate. Rocco, that's that's his name, R-O-C-C-O, Rocco Media. We call him Rocky, among other things. <laughs> Chuck Edwards, Jack Dillinger, answer the bell. Okay, action's underway and a side headlock taken immediately by the Dillinger. And Edwards just off the ropes now, takes the forearm, now a boot to the chest. And a tag. The Dillinger's holding true to form, tagging quickly and resorting to their not borderline. There's no way those tactics are borderline. They're just plain, downright illegal. Double toe lift. This is Frank Dillinger. A front face lock now by Jack. And now Dillinger is yelling, claiming this is Dick the Bruiser, puts the fist to the back of the neck. And then Wilbur Snyder, he says, and tags. Frank, wild in the eyes, literally, as Edwards goes hard into the buckle right in front of us. Five times Edwards has been thrown into that buckle. Here's a choke. Reaching for the tag, makes the tag, and here's Betancourt. I don't think Mediate is going to let him in. And I will question the tag. I will question that tag. A little close. A little close. They may have caught a finger, but it was not obvious. And now they're pretending that Chuck Edwards is the crusher. As they go viciously to the throat and the back of the neck. Really put the boot right in the top of the head. Really let him have it. Frank Dillinger really put him down. Here's the tag. Here's Betancourt. Forearm. Goes under the shoulder. He sets him for the beal. And there it is, a hard beal. Jose Betancourt comes to life as the team of Betancourt and Edwards comes to life. Here's a chin lock as Dillinger is in the ropes. A tag. Brother Jack takes over. Bob, a lot of wild melee type action when well, Betancourt comes in. Right, uh, Jose, uh, I've never seen him look meaner. I've never seen him wrestle really this rough. Jose is usually scientific, but he's really after these Dillingers and he just clubbed that one down good. And fans, I know you're enjoying this as I am. And I want you to take extra notice at the arms of Jack Dillinger. He has grease on those arms. And I had to go up to him and ask him. In fact, the referee, I'm sure, should have requested he wipe that off. Because I think he's been wiping that in the eyes of these wrestlers and uh, trying to blind them. Because uh, you'll notice on the back of Edwards, he wiped a lot of grease on him. And he must have got it in his eye. 
Uh, I think that Rocky, uh, what's that referee's like? Mediate, Rocky Mediate, Mediate yes. right. Uh, he's an excellent referee, but he should call him on that grease on those arms because he's using that grease as a, a seize. There, he's using that, he's going to wipe it across. His, oh, no, he didn't do it. There's a knee with a driving sort of a lance or a whiplash off those ropes by Dillinger. Oh, Dillinger puts the knee into his brother. And now Dillinger, Jack, takes Betancourt off his feet. As brother Frank, for a moment, handicapped from behind by Betancourt, now meets his opponent center ring. I'll tell you, these guys are, uh, they, they leave no tool of the illegal trade of this profession untouched. Well, actually, Chuck, actually what's happening now, it's Jose against both the Dillingers. Yep. And I think that he's really uh, showing a lot of class because uh, they're actually uh, number one world title contenders. Good job, Jose. That's right. That is, that, you're absolutely right. Absolutely. Edwards. And now they're giving, they're giving uh, cues to each other, trying to set things. Of course, this is... This is legal in tag team, but he's gonna throw him out. He says, throw him out of the ring. <laughs> Chuck, I don't think Edwards wants to go and no, say, hey, I don't blame him because they're really I don't gonna either. pound him now. Yeah, yeah, they've got him out. They've got him out. Oh, this is brutal, oh, fans. Fans, this right. is brutal. Oh, fans. Right on his back, fans, I think he's hurt. There is no doubt that the actions over here just a moment ago were completely unprovoked by either of the opponents of the Dillingers, Betancourt or Edwards. And now some of that grease that is on Jack is all over Edwards, around right. the face, on the leg, the knee. I think, I think that referee ought to check that grease on that man. I checked the grease on his arm, Rocky. He's using that grease in his eyes. And again, Betancourt is backed away. And again, Edwards is down on the ropes. And this second, whoever the heck he is. I think he's using that grease in his eyes, Rocky. Edwards to the rope. Oh, and really. There was a, that, there was a whack. Right to the midsection. Right to the midsection. Oh, let me do that, he said, Chuck. Hey, Edwards is out of his mind, I think. Oh. Ooh, look at his look that at his dinner. back, Chuck. That, that man is that man's body is red with welts, Chuck. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, no doubt. Frank Dillinger now circling away from Bettencourt. But side headlock. Here's a forearm against Jack. Tag. And right into it again. Oh, man. Caught him right in the jaw. Really put him down. And how that man can stand up. He won't now. Oh, Chuck, that was too crushing. It was right to yeah. the jaw, Chuck. That's the belt. That's the belt. Eight minutes, 51 seconds, 8.51. There's that second, whatever it is, 8.51 to the Dillingers. 